Hi everybody, I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV here in Round Rock, Texas. Today I'm going to show you around the 2020 Lance 1995. Now in 2020, they did make some mid-year changes and what I'm going to show you is the new Lance 1995. So if it has these nice modern graphics and the new Lance logo, you will know this is the newer 2020 because the earlier ones in 2020, they'll look a little different on the outside. As we go along, I'll show you everything that's changed, but let's just talk about the basic specs. This is 23 foot, eight inches long from the hitch to the bumper. It's gonna weigh about 4,900 pounds, and that's with every option I'm gonna show you, plus propane. So if that suits what you're looking for, then come with me, let's go inside, and let's see what we can see in there. Come on. Whenever I walk in a Lance, it just screams quality. I love it. We're going to talk about the details. This layout is one of my favorite because all of the storage right here as you walk in the door. The cabinet right here has a hanging bar in the top and of course you could easily add a shelving system in here. Drawers underneath, nice big full-size drawers. This space under here actually has the water heater, so it gives you easy access uh, to any of the, the bypass knobs, but it isn't storage on this bottom piece. But you know what? That's okay, because this cabinet is floor-to-ceiling storage. It does have a shelf at the top, so you could actually put a hanging bar, more shelves, just anything you need in here. Now, one of the things that people always want to know is where do I put my clothes? Where do I put my food? This could be configured in any way you need to suit what you're taking with you on your trip. Everybody packs a little differently. I love having it right here by the front door, right here by the kitchen, just easy access. The kitchen, the galley here on the side has little hooks for your keys but up above, you've got all of the switches and the stereo. So right up at the top, as you walk in the door, you can put the slide out out, the very top button right there. The awning right here, you have an on off, which simply turns the awning power on and off. And then you extend it right here. If you wanted the uh, light on in the awning, then it actually is over here on this switch and the patio light is right next to it. These two right here are interior lights. It's always nice to have a light switch right when you walk in the door so that you can actually light up that camper without having to enter in, stumble around in the dark. Super easy. Underneath the stereo, of course, it's Bluetooth. It is a DVD player. Um, it's going to have the HDMI. It's got everything that you need right there at the entrance. As you move into the galley area, I love the dark marble kind of colored countertop. The way they do their sink covers, it gives you a real flat surface. So you could use this as a workstation very easily. Each side lifts up. There is a, a gray material. It's a 
it's a it's a man-made material but very easy to clean without the lip on top blends in and it's one big sink two covers so it's easy to take on and off you don't have that big piece that you have to find a place to put when you take it off I love the fact that you've got the high arch on the faucet it is a single handle and the spray port all right a little shelf up here once you stop you may want to keep keys or maybe spices anything you cook with and the cabinet above has two shelves you can easily take this shelf out and make it just one large area if that suited your storage better and the recess lighting above it and below it I love indirect lighting it just makes it so much nicer the lighting for the kitchen is right over here on the left. Now you've got soffit lighting, which will be these right above, these two puck lights that will light up the kitchen area. The next one will be that recess lighting right here. You can always get plenty of light in your work area or just kind of take some of the direct lighting out of it if you wanted a, a nicer feel. They do such a great uh, option in Lance with lighting. I'll show you that as we go along. Over here, you've got the uh, hood vent. Now it's gonna have a light and it's also gonna have a fan and the three burner stove with the oven. Now the oven is an option and there is an option for a convection microwave. So you can get that as well. This actually has the oven and a separate microwave up above. All in the stainless front. I think that's such a nice look. Um, Let's, let's not miss the storage under here. Under this area, a nice big storage space right here underneath. You've got some pipes at the top, but not much. This hose down here is going to be the winterizing system. So this area under here could certainly be used for storage, but it is the area that you would be using if you uh, need to winterize and with just turning a few knobs, you use that hose, put it in your antifreeze, jar, your antifreeze gallon, and just turn on your water pump. It makes it very easy to do. This is what they call smart storage, and you've got three trays. It really is an efficient way to store things without using drawers. So you open the cabinet door, and it's all in the layers. Storage is one of the best features of this trailer, I think. You've got the 110 plug right here on the front. Okay, now the three burner stove gives you lots of space here for the larger pans, but let's take a look at it with this cover down. It does have the flush glass top, easy to just fold flat, nothing to lift up or move around. And that gives you all of this countertop that could be used for prep, it gives you plenty of counter space depending on which piece you happen to be using. All right, let's take a peek in the oven. A lot of people just want to see how big the oven is. Probably not quite as big as the one at home, but very spacious for an RV oven. Underneath here in the kitchen, the LP detector, which is also your carbon monoxide detector. And the breakers and fuses in the converter right next to that. Easy access right there. Now before we move on, let's take a look at the microwave. I like the fact that Lance uses a microwave that doesn't have a turntable on the floor. So you just have a flat surface on the bottom. You don't have anything that's gonna bang around that you have to clean or move. It is a no turntable microwave. So across from the galley is the bathroom. Now, I like the bathroom being here because you can just walk in the door straight into the bathroom. If you're outside camping, you don't have to traipse through the whole trailer. Between that and the closet being right here at the entrance, I really like it. All right. Stepping in, the corner shower is one piece molded, handheld up here, and of course it has an on-off switch. So you can turn the water off if you want to conserve. 
Uh, I love the one handle, but let's look at this shower curtain. It actually, it's, can't, it's a fabric, but it's on a rail. So when you pull it closed, it actually stays out at the top, gives you a little extra space, but it can't come out so the water can actually get out of the shower. But it does give you a little extra elbow room in the top. Very nice, very easy to operate shower curtain that's not going to stick to you. Now next to that, you've got the undermount sink here. Above, storage with two shelves. I like that the light that's above this medicine cabinet is separate from the light overhead. So you've got a vanity light and then you've got a light overhead. Two different switches right here. Single handle sink and a 110 plug. Plug in all those things you need in the bathroom. Now underneath the sink, you've got a little more storage right here. So you can see you've got a top shelf, a lower shelf, and underneath, that's the heater vent because Lance always has a vent in the bathroom. You know, not all trailers have that, so it's something you want to look for. Keep this bathroom warm and toasty when it's cold outside. All right. Now, one of the things Lance does is they always put a porcelain toilet in. So you do have a porcelain toilet. It stays cleaner, uh, easy to clean, easy to take care of, um, just a lot more solid than a plastic toilet. It is a foot flush and a towel rack on both sides. They put a small 12 volt fan in the roof and a skylight over the shower to give you just a little more headroom. So I may not have mentioned this yet, but this trailer is six foot six inches interior height. So a uh, lot, of, lot of room for most people. This large U-shaped dinette, I think is one of the best features of this layout. It adds extra seating and sleeping if you have guests. When you put it down into a bed, all you do is take the pole out, drop this tabletop down into this ledge, slide these cushions to the center, and you have a 54 by 78 inch bed. Great for two adults to sleep on. So lots of extra space here. We have actually sat six adults at this table comfortably. All right, now this color is Mystic Shores. It's the lightest one that's out there. The two other choices are Passage, which is a gray tone, or Roadster, which is a saddle colored brown leatherette interior. So take a look at both of those. Um, now uh, let's slide in. Let me show you the window coverings. I love the fact that there is windows on both sides and on the back. So when you're sitting in this dinette, you really are surrounded by windows. Now these windows, part of the four season, uh, package is dual pane windows. They're frameless. They open up like an awning so that you get full air coming in and you can leave them open if it's drizzling outside. They do have a dark tint to them so they keep a lot of the UV rays out, help keep that trailer cool in the summer. And dual pane windows are standard on every Lance. I mean that is just part of how they build. So I think that's a great feature. Let me show you how these work. This pulls down to be a day shade. It's a screen. It's going to block out some of the light in case you have a lot of sunlight coming in. You also have a blackout shade, which pulls down on top of that. So you've got both of those on every window. Just give it a tug. It rolls right back up. Little tug right back up out of the way. All right. Up here, there is the little globe lanterns and on the other side, let me scoot across there, I can show you that it actually has a dimmer switch on it. So you can adjust the amount of light. We've all been in a campsite before where it just, the light is so bright because you've been outside in the dark and you just need enough so that you can see or maybe watch TV comfortably. So that's an adjustment that you can make right here on these globe lights. It's a great dinette, very comfortable. You certainly could uh, take the table out and use it as a U-shaped sofa. 
You'll notice that this dinette is actually lifted up above the floor a little bit. Couple of things that I really like about that, I'm gonna show you here in just a minute. All right, so one thing I wanna point out is that you do have some recess lighting right up here above this slide out. You've got some other recess lighting that we already saw in the kitchen and some more back above the bed. Just makes a nice glow in here if you wanna get rid of that direct lighting when you're out camping. All right, let's talk about the slide out raised up a little bit, they do that so that they can keep this trailer low profile. Easy to tow, less wind resistance, so by lowering the floor, they can lower the ceiling. It's not as tall. To do that, they have to raise up the floor on the slide. I really like that in this trailer. One reason, I'm five foot tall, I say that in almost every video so that you'll have a frame of reference, but it is so easy for me to get in and out of this because when I sit down, it's literally at seating height for me. So that's nice, very easy to get in and out of. Another thing I like about it is you have these huge drawers right here. Storage like this on both sides is so nice and so handy. I'm really glad that it's not at floor level where I have to reach down all the way to the floor to get what I need. It's right here, very accessible. Now the way this latch works, it's a little tricky. So if you're checking this out, when the button is out, it opens and closes. If you wanna put it in travel mode, you push in the button and that locks it so it can't move. Really simple to use that's a great feature as well. Before we move to the front of the trailer, I wanna show you the refrigerator. It's a seven cubic foot, two door refrigerator, stainless exterior, love that look. The handle's a little different. You push it in with your thumb here. It gives you a nice solid handhold and not a little pinch on the top. Let's take a look at the space. You've got some shelving there on the side and of course plenty of space in here. All right, let's take a look up at the ceiling here because you've got a great skylight right there in the galley area. It does have a cover that pulls over so that it's completely blocked from sunlight. You always wanna be able to sleep late when you're camping, right? So you have to block the light. You do have four speakers in here, two in the living area, two in the bed area, and then you've also got two exterior speakers. LED lighting, everything we've talked about in here is LED, inside and out. Great feature, why? Of course, it only uses a fraction of the electricity. Great feature to have in all the Lance trailers. Just above me right here is the air conditioner. Now you do have some choices in the sizes of air conditioners, and why would you need that? Well. If you might want a smaller air conditioner if you want to run off a generator. That's really why people do that. So there's a 10,000 BTU air conditioner for that reason. Otherwise, there's a 13.5 or a 15 um, air conditioner that's available. And that's going to be right in the center. So just above the bed area, there's a fantastic fan. Great for moving air in the trailer. If you didn't want to run the air conditioner, you can crack the windows turn on that power fan, and it's gonna actually create a breeze in here. I love that when I'm sleeping. Just a nice breeze running through the trailer. All right, well, we've moved up to the front. It is so nice to have the convertible sofa option. This is an option where your queen bed can actually fold in half, and then you have a jackknife sofa right here. I'll show you how that works. It's really easy and super, super comfortable. All you need to do to actually turn it back into the bed is lift up these arms, fold the sofa down, and then flip over the cover. So when you get up in the morning, all you need to do is flip that mattress back over Lift up the jackknife sofa, 
and put the arms back in the end. We even have customers that leave the arms at home and enjoy just an open-ended sofa. Makes it even easier. So this is very comfortable way to travel. Easy to see the television. This trailer has a 28 inch 12 volt television. It is on a swing arm. So if you're sitting on the sofa or laying in bed, really wonderful to view it from that direction. But if you unlatch it, you can lift it out and swing it around and watch it from the dinette. Very simple to do. And then when you're done, you just latch it right back in place. Do you hear that click? There it goes. It's that easy. All right, let's look at some of the features around the bed area. Now the storage on both sides of the bed is just really conveniently laid out. You do have recess lighting up here and also recess lighting underneath the cabinet shining on the tables on both sides of the bed. So it's a great way to uh, not only have a night light, but be able to see your book, your glasses, whatever you set on the counter next to the bed at night. The switch to turn those night lights on and off is right here. So easy to use that as the last light that you turn off. There are 110 plugs on both sides and 12 volt plugs, along with the two charging ports, the little USBs. So very simple to use both sides. Nobody gets to fight over the plug or which side is better. Uh, you do have reading lights right up here on each side. And now let's take a look at the storage. This cabinet actually has a bar in the top, although a lot of people like to put shelves in. And then you have a drawer underneath. So each side can be used for each person's personal items if you have two in the trailer. It is a soft closed drawer, which is nice. Let's take a look at the window in the front. That's the next thing that you're going to notice in this trailer. In the past, in the early 2020s, that window was glass. It didn't open. It was heavier. And so they have replaced that window because a lot of people wanted this one with one that's not only lighter weight, but you can open it. Great feature. That way you have a window on the front that opens, windows on the side that open. Turn on the fantastic fan. You can have a great breeze in here. Let's take a look at how that works. This front window is easy to operate, double paned, and gives you plenty of airflow. All you do is unlatch all the latches on each side and on the bottom, give it a push, and then tighten the connection at the top to leave it as open as you want it. There's a screen that comes up from the bottom if you want a screen, or of course at night you might want a blackout shade. Pulls down from the top, covers the entire window. What a great feature of these newer 2020 models. Now this area right here behind the dinette it's got the Lance clock that you'll see in all of their trailers. And underneath, this is the control for the air conditioner. A 110 plug right here. So you have one on this side of the dinette and one lower on the other side of the dinette. And then two cubbies for just about anything you can think of that you want easy access to right here. We need to mention that there is a curtain. It Velcro's closed, but it does pull across the bed area. There is a little mesh across the top to let the air flow through with the air conditioner. It actually works really well, so you can pull the curtain and still keep the entire trailer cool. All right, I think I've shown you a lot of the features on the inside. Let's go to the outside. There are some new things out there that you won't see in the early 2020 models. Let's go. All right. One of the first things you'll notice out here, the 24 inch revolution steps. I love these. These are glow steps by Torque Lift. And let me show you real quickly how they work because I think they're a great option that can be added to Lance trailers. So the revolution step is 
very easy to do because the legs are adjustable to any height of the ground outside, even if it's uneven. Very simple, simply collapse the steps, lift the latch, slide it into place underneath the trailer, latch it into place and put the pin in so it's secure. Very simple. To pull it out, you do just the opposite. Unpin it, pull the steps out, expand them, and then adjust the bottom legs any way you need to. Very simple to do. These steps are solid. The swing out assist handle is also great to go along with the revolution steps. Good solid entry, easy to grab onto, and of course swings out of the way when you're not using it. This new handle gives me a good solid feel, not the little paddle that I have to grab with my fingers. I think that's so important. I can get a good handle on it and the keyless entry. Great job, Lance. Now let's go around the back of the trailer. So some of the great features you'll see on the back of this Lance 1995, the standard fat tube ladder that Lance uses on all their trailers, good solid ladder to crawl up, and this unit actually has the optional roof rack on it. Might want to store some extra gear up there, right? All right, you do have the four inch square bumper and this trailer has the receiver hitch on the back. It is the smaller receiver hitch, so it's great for bike racks, maybe an extra tray for carrying some extra gear there as well. The water heater vent is on the back of the camper because remember that is in the bottom of that closet as you walk in the door. Up above, you'll see the optional backup camera and the new Lance logo. I love that it is the raised letter, so it gives it a very modern, very clean look. LED lights on the back. And then let's take a look at the service area right here on the trailer. Now this is going to be the outside shower, hot and cold, and black tank flush. Now that black tank flush is where you would hook up the water hose while you're dumping the black tank so that it actually can clean out that black tank, keep your camper smelling fresh. Next to that is the city water fill. So if you wanted to have water coming into your trailer from the hydrant, you can go ahead and hook up right here. No need to fill those water tanks. Now the tanks on this trailer are 45 gallon black, 45 gray, and 45 fresh. So plenty of tank space. They are heated and enclosed because this is a four season trailer. Up here, satellite and park cable hookups. If you're in a park that has those or if you have your own portable satellite, great place to attach those right there. This 30 amp plug is detachable, so it's easy to wrap up, stick inside a compartment, and it has the collar that tightens it up right there, keeps it locked on firmly. Let's look underneath here. There are two low point drains right here, easy to uncap and drain any water out of the lines that you need to, but underneath that, you have the single hose hookup, with a black tank flush and a gray tank flush right there. Let's move into the storage of the slide out. This is underneath the dinette. Huge space in here for any of your outdoor gear. You could store chairs in here, maybe some of your sewer hoses, the outside gear if you'd like to put some of the extra hoses here, um, maybe some things that might get muddy. I like to point out as well, that they have magnetic catches for the doors. Very simple to open the compartment, have it stay open, no need to use a latch. Drop it down. Don't you love these graphics on the outside? They give it such an updated feel. Again, the new Lance logo. Love that. Let's look right up here. Now this is unusual. You don't see this on a lot of trailers. There is a handle pulled just like you have on the gray and the black, but this is the fresh tank. So if you needed to drain that fresh tank, this is how you would do it with this handle right here. Remember these tanks are heated and enclosed, so uh, it'd be difficult to get all the way under there to, to drain that. There is another storage bin here. 
great for, again, outside gear, things that are muddy. It is lockable, a nice metal tray right here underneath. Next to that, if you look right in front, you'll see a toy lock. Now what that toy lock is right there is if you have outdoor gear like bicycles or if you have a portable generator, uh, something like that, you can pull this cord out, wrap it around, and then lock it right back into place. So it is secured to your trailer and can't go anywhere. Now remember that 2020 had that mid-year change? One of the things they changed is this pass-through compartment. They actually made a generator compartment on this side, so it doesn't pass all the way through. This is made to hold two 2,000 watt generators, like two uh, Hondas, two Yamahas, uh, or you could have one generator and maybe uh, other storage here. Uh, there are straps to hold it down. In the back of this compartment, you'll also see the lug wrench for the tires that Lance always includes. All right, um, so this is brand new for the second half of 2020, along with the toy lock underneath that we just talked about. Same uh, magnetic catch at the top, and you'll notice this door is vented. Well, that is for fumes while you're traveling. You can't run the generator in this compartment. You'll want to take it out, set it on the ground, and run it actually outside the compartment. This is simply a storage compartment. In front of that is the controls for the electric stabilizer jacks. It's an option, and it's something that's on this trailer where you have an on-off switch, and then these two switches will control the stabilizer jack on the front and the rear of this side. There's another compartment on the other side I'll show you with two switches for those uh, jacks on that other side. Still make it very simple to set up your trailer and pack it up when you're ready to go home. Above that is the battery tray. This is a slide out tray. You lift it up to unlatch it and slide it out. There's one on both sides of the trailer, so each battery is very accessible. Now, if you have a standard deep cycle marine battery, you're gonna be actually checking this to see if it needs water. Uh, another option from Lance uh, in the last half of 2020 is that you can get a lithium ion battery. Now, this is something that you can do after the fact as well, but there are a few other things like the converter that need to change, so it's always great to get from the factory. Why lithium ion batteries? Well, they hold a lot of power and they last a very long time. They are a no maintenance battery, so it is an option that you can get from Lance. If you're not sure what those are, what the advantages and disadvantages are, call your local dealer. They'll be glad to explain that to you. All right, now let's move around to the front of this trailer. You can see that big window that we showed you that's in front of the bed here. It opens up, you can see the amazing amount of air that you could get into the trailer with this window right here. This is Lexan. It's very strong. I wouldn't be at all worried about it breaking. It's going to be very solid and again a lot lighter weight than glass. That nice uh, raised Lance logo right here on the front and this trailer is equipped with the Tri-5 propane. What that means is that you have two 20 pound five gallon propane tanks and then a third one in the front for a spare. If one uh, is empty in the back, you simply switch it out, and whenever you get a chance, you refill that spare tank. Great feature. I love the way the heavy ABS cover is on the top, and then this opens up so that you can operate everything inside. Makes it really easy. The four latches on the outside, very easy to unlatch. This cover simply lifts off so that you can replace the tanks. Lance has an option with the smart jack. Now, the, the thing about the smart jack is that you can actually program this to go the exact height you need to get your vehicle under it. That way, you hold it and tell it when it needs to go up 
and it's going to go to that exact height. You don't have to sit here and try to be sure it's high enough to back the vehicle under. It's going to already go to that right place. And then you can press it again and walk away while it retracts completely. I think that's a great feature. All right, what else can I show you? A new thing on these 2020s is going to be a plug holder and chain hooks, which means that this plug won't get on the ground, it won't get dirty, uh, it won't get drug. You just set it right there, it holds it in place, and you can see right next to that, you can hook the chains so they're not in the mud, they're not in the dirt. Just a, a great feature. I don't know why every trailer doesn't have that. It's a simple thing, and it makes it easier to hook up and unhook. Okay, let's point out really quickly the ABS rock guard that's on the front of the Lance trailers. It's very sturdy. It's gonna keep those rock chips from messing with anything on the front of your trailer. You do have a nice little LED light. We'll try to get a shot of that for you. Um, because it's not plugged in, you can't see that. But um, it's a great light for when you are hooking and unhooking or checking your propane tanks. All right, let's look at the storage compartment from this side. This storage compartment has the sliding tray in it. Now this sliding tray is an option, but on this trailer, I think it's really important because remember, you have the generator compartment on the other side. So you can't access the middle of this trailer quite as easily as when it was a full pass-through. So this slides out so you can reach everything in here. Slides right back in, you have a nice pin right here to keep it in place, latches it in there. There's a table stored above it. So you can pull this table out, set it under the awning over by the picnic table, and when you're ready to put it away, you don't have to find a spot for it. It's got its own little hiding spot right there at the top of your sliding space. In front of this is the other battery we saw the one on the other side, these batteries are hooked together. And below, of course, those switches for the electric stabilizer jacks, one in the front and one in the back on this side. In front of this compartment is a gas connection. If you had an outside grill, you can plug in right there and access the propane on the front of your trailer. Great to have a nice grill right out here next to your awning. Notice the frameless windows. Remember I said that all the windows on the Lances are gonna be dual paned. And that's because these four season trailers are truly ready for really cold or really hot weather. In the center of the trailer underneath the awning, there's the vent for the refrigerator, underneath the furnace vent, and just in front, you'll see the fresh water inlet. Above that is just a vent for the tanks right there. And this puck right here is for the TV. You can actually take your TV outside, hook it up, your connections right here, and 110 connections right next to that. 12 volt and 110 right here for all your outdoor electronics. We'll show you how the awning works shortly. It's an 11 foot awning. It's gonna create a wonderful patio area out here. Not only is it a one piece push button, but you'll notice there's no arms. Lance uses an armless awning so that you don't have those arms coming down into your trailer that you're gonna bump into. Full view of everything that's out there with no arms as hazards. I love that. Another change that happened in late 2020 that we should mention, they went from 14 inch tires to 15 inch. Now Lance uses aluminum wheels with Goodyear radial tires. They're now 15 inch on the second half of the 2020 models. So let's touch on the construction of the Lance trailer. Lance is a welded aluminum frame, laminated sidewalls, laminated floor and ceiling, it's made with Asdell, and 
if you're not familiar with ASDEL, ASDEL's the material that's really completely resistant to water. It's a composite, a lot like PVC, so it's going to keep all of those issues away that we all worry about when it comes to water and humidity in our trailer. All right, I love the high gloss phylon that's on the outside, the PVC roof, the four season trailer, heated and enclosed tanks, dual pane windows, really ready for any adventure you wanna throw at it. Before we go, let's show you how the awning works. So I hope you've enjoyed seeing some of the features on this Lance 2020-1995. Their mid-year changes really gave this a fresh look. If you have some more questions that we didn't answer, please comment below. We're glad to help you. Subscribe to our channel if you wanna see new units coming out. And as always, thank you for watching. Call us when you need us. I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV in Round Rock, Texas. I'll see you next time.